every morning we wake up, we have an opportunity to make a difference in the world. And we make a choice. Am I going to make a difference or am I not going to make a difference? If I'm going to make a difference, then let's do something. And, and that takes a certain amount of effort, a certain amount of passion. Each of our winners tonight exemplifies in a wonderful way the different parts of our mission. When I think about Seattle University's values. Justice and inclusion. Commitment. Diversity, of course. Authenticity and a genuineness. Persistent, determined. Supportive of the university mission around social justice. Always with an eye to justice for the marginalized, for the oppressed. When I think about alums out in the world and making a contribution it truly excites me for the work that we're doing here on campus. In the midst of all this chaos and uncertainty, somebody who will ground you and be able to kind of recenter you in thinking, what can we do to affect change? Affect po a positive, just change. And it's really only the alumni of our university who prove that we're fulfilling and we're living our mission. <laughs> She has devoted her work to students who are the most marginalized, the most unseen. She engages them the way she was engaged at Seattle University as a first generation student. Her energy, her enthusiasm, her passion, all of that is involved in every single interaction that you have with Gretchen Ray. She empowers them to really share their voice and their experience and to really have a seat at the table. She is somebody that I strive to be more like, somebody that will answer the call at all times. We have an individual who not only is remarkably competent, but who has the wisdom and the values to contribute to the greater good. Dan Wall has achieved great success at Expeditors International. He's moved all the way from having been a messenger to being the president of Global Product, and he's used that same leadership in order to create a great program called Opportunity Knox to give disadvantaged youth hope and focus through internships at Expeditors. Dan helps people understand what they're capable of, and he helps them reach their potential. It feels good to have people like that that support you with your goals. Dan uh, certainly has the professional achievement, coupled with a deep personal humility, and I think it's part of why he has been as successful as he is. She's a genuine servant leader. She really lives out the university's mission as a person for others. Chach definitely operates on a what's in it for everybody mindset. Graduated from our school of law, she fights tirelessly for the oppressed and the marginalized. She does this in order to diversify the legal profession. She has an incredible commitment to youth and children, to immigrants. The school must be so proud of Chach when it sees how she operates with such grace as a mother, a friend, an attorney and a devoted community leader. She's such a great example of the kind of graduate of Seattle University School of Law we strive to produce. None of us will ever forget the impact that she's had on our lives and how she's inspired us to be the best we can be. Kathleen Schaefer has been a creative and visionary leader for many decades, a very generous person to Seattle University. She's been a regent. She's always there for the sake of the university. Her legacy will definitely be the state of the university. Her vision was to bring everybody together, to get to know each other, to work together, to brainstorm together, and to make this university function as a whole. I think her legacy is going to be what lives on in other people whose lives she's touched. And that's what I really admire about her. She was one of the early women in technology, and I think that's uh, something that's very meaningful and very important, a great role model. Brenda Christensen has demonstrated her leadership not only in being a pioneer in the technology field, but in her commitment to global education and her involvement with Seattle University. She's very committed to bringing others along, to mentoring others, very generous with her time and her advice. Brenda's the best person to win Alumna of the Year because of her commitment to Seattle University. For me particularly, it's been because of her support for the Central America Initiative. Her commitment to our Nicaragua program, especially in recruiting youth to have the opportunity for an education, is unsurpassed. So many things that she talks about about have a social justice theme to them. She's very concerned about underserved groups in society. Brenda's tremendous positive attitude about things is infectious. We need more people like Brenda in the world because wherever Brenda goes, she lifts up people. Where do you find people like that? Don't you want to surround yourself with people like that? I do. 